tonight on an all-new celebrity edition of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Rock God Gene Simmons pays us a visit you won't forget. Oh, yeah! I invented that baby. He's calm. This is a trick question, Foxworthy. Cool. Yes, that's right. And confident. Without question, without hesitation, I know it for a fact. And he might just become. Let me fix my dude. <laughs> Our first celebrity millionaire. We are going to rock and roll all night. Right now. special celebrity edition of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Hey, kids, how you doing? All right, kids, are you ready to meet your new classmates? Yeah! He is the founding member of the legendary rock group Kiss. He attended PS 135 in Jackson Heights, Queens. Please welcome Gene Simmons! Welcome to the show. What is that? The, I, oh. I believe this is a picture of you in the fifth grade. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, my God. And then one more. We have one from high school. Take a look at this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, you know... <laughs> but now, here's what a lot of people don't know. Before you became the rock and roll legend, you were actually a school teacher. I was. I was a school teacher in uh, Spanish Harlem in New York City. And, uh, you know, it was not an not easy gig. You have to respect and love your teachers, boy, because they work hard and get paid Absolutely. Nothing. Absolutely. Right? Now, what, what age group did you teach, Gene? Well, they were about 12 years old at that okay. point. Okay, so and, uh, sixth or seventh grade then. Yeah, sixth grade. Well, let me tell you how this works. Okay. On the board, we're going to have a quiz. Got 10 questions, first grade through the fifth grade. You get all those right, we're going to give you an 11th question that will be worth $1 million. <laughs> and I know it's been a couple of years since you were in the fifth grade. So we have these guys here to help you. In fact, we're going to let you cheat off of them. Let's introduce them real quick. In the back, we have Jonathan. <laughs> Jenna. <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> Bryce. <laughs> and Francesca. <laughs> All right, Gene, pick one of them. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, I pick Jenna. Jenna. Well, welcome to the classroom, and I think it's time to find out, is Gene Simmons smarter than a fifth grader? All right, Gene, 10 subjects, first grade through the fifth grade. Pick oh. one, and why don't we get started? I'll be really brave. How about first grade grammar? First grade grammar. All right. You know, Shannon and Nick are over there going, bye-bye. <laughs> you know. Grammar, no, huh? He's not from here. Yeah. 
you know, I speak four languages, but I... All right. now, now, what four languages do you speak? Hungarian, Tudok Veszerni Marul, Anyukam Sulat Marul I can speak uh, German, Ich habe gelernt auf der Schule, Sprecher uh, Hochdeutsch. I speak English reasonably well. Okay. And I speak Hebrew. I speak Hebrew. I'm Shir Devorah. Yes. Shalom. Hello. 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 Gene, this is the easy part. It's first grade grammar. It's worth $1,000. Oh. Listen carefully to the question before you hit the buzzer. Oh. Here it is. The first grade grammar question is this. What word is the adjective in the following sentence? Jonathan is happy. What word is the adjective in the following sentence? Jonathan is happy. Your classmate Jenna has already locked in her answer. <laughs> oh, you're killing. I know what a verb is. I know what a noun is. An adjective is supposed to describe. You're killing me. And Gene, it's a first grade question. The sentence has three words in it. All right, let me explain your cheats, because yeah. we, we let you cheat in this classroom. You, you, you have a peek, which means you could peek at your classmates' paper. You have a copy, which means you have to take the answer they've written down. Or you have a save. And you have a one in three guess at this point, so... I think it might be happy, but it can't be is, because is doesn't describe anything. All right, I'm going to pick happy. I'm just enjoying watching your family with their head in their hands over here. We're very happy to be here. The question, what was the adjective in the following sentence? Jonathan is happy. The correct answer, Gene, is happy. You got yes. a thousand bucks. All right, you got a thousand. Let's turn it into two thousand. Pick another subject. Yeah. 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 I have made my decision. Second grade geography. Second grade U.S. geography. Second grade U.S. geography worth two thousand dollars. Gene, here's the question. Which of the following states extends the farthest north? Wyoming, Idaho, or Utah? Oh, my God. Which of the following states extends the farthest north? Wyoming, Idaho, or Utah? Your classmate Jenna has locked in her answer. How could you? <laughs> the farthest north, let me see. We got Texas in the middle. We got the panhandle. Texarkana, Arkansas, California, Nevada. I know Wyoming's up there. Utah's kind of down there. Uh, but I don't know which far is the north. I see. Which one is the north? North is. <laughs> I want to say Wyoming, but I'm not sure. I'm going to guess uh, A, Wyoming. So when you would book the concert dates, you didn't really look at the map. You would just wake up and say, I don't do the minutia. You, you hire somebody who books right. it and gets the money, and I just show up, they give you the money, then you go home. Right. <laughs> Thank goodness there's people that do the minutia because... Oh, you're not going to kill me. Wyoming is not the farthest north. What would be your second guess? I have no clue. As, uh, so, uh... Second guess would be uh, Utah. What would be your third guess? <laughs> the third guess would be Idaho. Idaho is the correct answer, Gene. There it is. Here's where 
we stand if this 10-year-old said Idaho, you've got $2,000 and Look we can Look at that. They're right again. next to each they other. Are, they are right next to each other. They're neighbors. Sometimes the mail gets mixed up and they get each other's mail. But Idaho is clearly the furthest north. If Jenna said Idaho, you have $2,000 and we continue on. If she said Wyoming or Utah, you leave here come on, with Jenna. nothing. Jenna, come on. For $2,000, Gene, take a look at the board. Your 10-year-old classmate, Jenna, said... Idaho, you got the money! You're the one, you're the one, you're the one, you're the one, you're the one. Jenna, nice job. <sighs> Should I say I'm not smarter than a physician? No, not right yet, now? not yet, no. But, but they can only help you two questions at a time, so it is time to choose another classmate. Olivia! Olivia! Oh, I'm in such trouble. I listen to your songs every day. <laughs> you, oh, you're a big Kiss fan, that's right, aren't you? Really? But after the, the geography question, I'm thinking somebody should have spent a little less time rocking and rolling all night and partying every day and a little more time studying the map. So. I really am smart, honest. Oh, I know it's, you That are. was a trick I question. I know you're very... <laughs> we have eight subjects on the board. Okay, third grade social studies. Third grade social studies. The third grade social studies question worth $5,000 is coming up when we come back. Now, Gene, I know that you brought some people here today to root for you. You want to introduce them to everybody? Maybe the most beautiful woman that God has ever created on the face of the planet, Shannon Tweed, the mother of my children. And, uh, and my good-looking son, who's single. That's him right there. That's him. <laughs> you got a whole bunch of super fans that came down to cheer you on today. Too. Now, 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 I gotta ask. I, I gotta ask Nick a question. Does this make you a little bit nervous for Dad to be up here taking this quiz? He was a theology major. you have any religion questions, history? Eh, no. Theology major? Yeah. Really? Journalism, theology, sociology, and, and all that. Uh, but you don't have any of those questions up there, so. about war. Lots of war and Lots of pestilence. Lots of war, pestilence. Second grade war and pestilence for $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you chose was third grade social studies. It's worth $5,000. Let's go ahead and just knock this one out quickly. What do you say? You ready? The third grade social studies question is this. The 26th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution states a person must be at least how many years old to vote in national elections? The 26th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution <laughs> states a person must be at least how many years old to vote in national elections? Olivia has already locked in her answer. Well, <clears throat> I, uh... I was in the draft when I was 18 to go to the military, but I know I wasn't able to vote. I, I, believe, the an I believe the answer is 21 years old. How old do you have to be to be in the military? 18. How old do you have to be to drink? 56, if you ask my kids.
Oh, you're killing me. Well, she locked in real fast, so you could peek at her paper or copy her paper. I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy your answer. I'm going to copy your answer. The third great question, the 26th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution states a person must be at least how many years old to vote in national elections? If you had had to guess, you would have said... 21. 21. If you had said 21, you would be walking out to catch the no bus kidding. right now. Are you kidding me? Hello? Me. To vote. We had this talk about registering, remember? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm 19, not 21 yet. It, isn't it the worst when they're right? Isn't that just the worst part when they're right? You know, you know, he's right. I, we talked about registering to vote. Yeah. And it's just that I'm, I'm nervous. I understand. I'm not used to being in front of people. I love the fact that Gene Simmons is nervous in the fifth grade classroom. The correct answer, Gene, if you had to, if you had to answer now, would be what? 18. 18. 18 is absolutely right. So. If Olivia said 18, you've got $5,000. If she didn't, maybe the bus is still in the parking lot and you can snag uh, a ride home. Please. Olivia. Please. Said 18. <laughs> I'm um, about to play for 10000 Oh, I'm doing so badly. You're OK. What charity are you playing for today? I'm playing for Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS, which is a charity that's near and dear to my heart, and they sorely need our money. So please, please contribute Absolutely. to Pediatric AIDS. All right, here's our goal. We're going to get them some money, OK? Seven subjects. You've got a first, second, and third grade question. Which one would you like next? Let's turn five into ten thousand dollars. Okay, I'll, I'll pick fifth grade U.S. history. Fifth grade U.S. history. All right, you are a gambling man. If we struggle with the first, second, and third grade, let's go to the fifth grade. Fifth grade U.S. history. Gene, listen carefully and think before you hit the buzzer. Yeah. You chose fifth grade U.S. history. Here it is. The Battle of the Bulge was fought during what war? The Battle of the Bulge was fought during what war? Your classmate has locked in her answer. Well, you know, I'm a student of... Uh, of war, you said. Of some, yeah, in fact, my next book is going to be Gene Simmons' Art of War, based on Shun Tzu's original military strategy book. So I know the answer to this. The Battle of the Bulge was fought during World War II. I'm going to commit to it. Uh, my answer is World War II. What do you think? It is! One! No, it's World War II. It's one, I think. No, it's not. No, no, no. It was panzer tanks I fight against it every the... day. <laughs> Shannon's War fighting three. the battle of the bulge every all day. All right. All right, on the question about the about the constitutional amendment, Nick was right. It's time to even it all out, Nick. Dad's right. It yeah. was World War II. out of the way. There we go. All right. We are at the $25,000 question. Pick another classmate. Let's go get it. <laughs> See, 
see, you knew that. You trust your gut. You knew that one. I don't know what I know and what I don't know. <laughs> by, the, by the end of this show, I'll figure out my name. I Here don't know. Here we are. We're at the, we we got to get to the 25000 yeah. because that way the charity gets at least $25,000. Bryce, have... Bryce, you're smart, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Whoa, yeah. Third grade world history. Third grade world history, all right. Gene, listen carefully. The third grade world history question for $25,000 will be revealed when we come back. Contestant Gene Simmons has got $10,000 for pediatric AIDS research. We are trying to turn that into $25,000. Gene, listen carefully. The third grade world history question for $25,000 is... What is the name of the British world leader who appears in the following image? What is the name of the British world leader who appears on the board? Your classmate, Bryce, has locked in his answer. And I'm going to lock in my answer. That's Winston Churchill. You are absolutely right. You got $25,000, Gene. Winston Churchill. I think, I, you know what? I almost said Uncle Fester from the Adams Family, so. <laughs> Gene, the next question is worth $50,000 for charity. Select a second. Okay, I'll go with first grade life science. First grade life science. For the $50,000 question, you selected first grade life science. You ready? No. <laughs> ready or not, here it comes. The first grade question is this. True or false, the tangerine is a citrus fruit. True or false, the tangerine is a citrus fruit. Your classmate Bryce is locked in. Uh, true, the tangerine is a citrus fruit. <laughs> don't, no, don't Shannon talk. gave you the thumbs up. Nick said, uh, uh. <laughs> listen to the old man. He's absolutely right. He's yes, got $50,000. Graders had the right answer. We are down to four subjects. You have two classmates remaining. Why don't you choose one of them? Thank Francesca! All right. Now, remember on the last question, I told you you had nothing to lose because you weren't giving any money back. Right. This question, you get it right, you've got $100,000, but if you miss it, you drop down to 25,000, okay? Pick your poison. Okay. Second grade vocabulary. Second grade vocabulary. The second grade vocabulary wait, question. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me fix my do. <laughs> okay. It's looking good. Thank you. The second grade vocabulary question worth $100,000 yes. is... By definition, how many characters speak during a monologue in a play? By definition, how many characters speak during a monologue in a play? Your classmate Francesca has locked in her answer. 
one person speaks during a monologue in a play. Francesca, by definition, how many characters speak during a monologue in a play? Can I say one? You can say it. One. One. That's what Mr. Simmons said. The Pediatric AIDS Foundation has got 100,000! already won $100,000 for the Elizabeth Fraser Pediatric AIDS Foundation. All right, we're in rare air here, Gene. We are playing for $175,000. What? And you can still drop out of school with $100,000. There's three subjects remaining. Which one would you like? Which, which one of those are you? Whatever you like. Whatever I like, how about astronomy? Whatever. If you want astronomy, that's your story. Fourth grade astronomy. Fourth grade astronomy. <laughs> the classroom club question. This is very cool. This was sent in by an actual fourth grader. The question, worth $175,000, Gene, is what is the term for the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere. Corona, comet, or supernova? What is the term for the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere? Corona, comet, or supernova? And Francesca has locked in. The comet is a moving object usually ice and debris from space. Supernova is what happens after it explodes. Corona has got to be the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere, which is mostly hydrogen. I pick letter A, Corona. A peak remaining. You chose not to use it. Oh, this is not going well. <laughs> if you would have peaked, you would have seen that Francesca said, see supernova. Oh, my God. And if you had seen her answer, if you had peaked, what would you have locked in for your answer? Corona. Gene, you did the right thing. You got a hundred. Heart. I'm gonna... Gene. Yeah, I'm gonna pass out. You're okay. Here, let me let me switch with you. Uh. <laughs> Gene. When we come back, you are playing for three hundred thousand dollars. Simmons is not fooling around. So I want to go all the way to a million. Yes, 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 yes. And rock gods do not like to lose. Oh, you're killing me. This is the farthest any celebrity has ever gone for charity. Right now on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth 
smarter than a fifth grader. Our contestant, KISS frontman Gene Simmons, has already won $175,000 for the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation. You are down to your last classmate. Jonathan, come on up here. Jonathan, we have math. How are you at math? I am great at math. Great at math. What about world geography? That's different. That's different. <laughs> Go ahead and pick a subject. Okay, let's try fourth grade math. Fourth grade math. This particular question is worth 300,000. The fourth grade math question is this. Jenna has 62 jelly beans. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> and Bryce has 34. If they each eat half their own jelly beans, how many total jelly beans are left? Jenna has 62 jelly beans and Bryce has 34. If they each eat half their own jelly beans, how many total jelly beans are left? Classmate Jonathan has locked in his answer. Well, two and four is six. Six and three is nine, so you got 96. Two into 96 is two times four is eight. One carry over one and six is 16. Two into 16 is eight, therefore it's 48. It has to be 48. How much are we playing for? $300,000. I commit to 48. <laughs> to be that. Just tell me if I win or not, please. You're killing just me. Just tell you if you win or not? $300,000. Well, if 48 is not right, you have just given back $150,000. But 48 is right. You got yeah! $300,000. so nervous, I, I will tell you, it's just... Well, here's the good part. This question, Gene, is worth half a million dollars. The subject is fifth grade world geography. You can still drop out of school. Do not answer too quickly, because you have $300,000 right now for pediatric AIDS research, all right? The fifth grade World geography question, worth $500,000 is the Bay of Bengal is part of what ocean? The Bay of Bengal is part of what ocean? The Bay of Bengal is part of what ocean? Your classmate, Jonathan, has locked in his answer. What do you know about the Bay of Bengal? A Bengal tiger is an Indian tiger. It's different than the Asian tiger. In fact, there's a team called the Bengal Tigers. But it could be a trick question. The, the Bay of Hormuz is right, is right near at the way Africa and Saudi Arabia go in, the tips Abu Dhabi and Qatar. I'm going to commit to the Indian Ocean. How long have you and Shannon been together? 25 beautiful, wonderful. Yeah! 
She's screaming, why didn't you peek? Why didn't you peek? Might as well. It's the last, the last one. question. You had a peek. You can't use it again. You didn't peek. Why? I, I forgot. <laughs> if you are not right, you have just given back more than a quarter of a million dollars. Oh, my God. Oh. The question, the Bay of Bengal is part of what ocean? You said the Indian Ocean. Gene, the correct answer is the Indian Ocean. You got hit. question is this. Oh. Do not hit this button. Stay tuned. Are you smarter than a fifth grader returns right after this. Welcome back to the celebrity edition of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. What an incredible night in this classroom. Gene Simmons, the lead singer of Kiss, has won $500,000 for the Elizabeth Laser Pediatric AIDS Foundation. We are about to tackle the million dollar question. Gene, this is the farthest any celebrity has ever gone for charity. Farther than Regis, your smart man, made thousands of dollars in your lifetime. Let me tell you how the million dollar question differs from the first 10. On this one, none of our fifth graders can assist you. It's just you. I'm going to show you the subject. You can see the subject and still walk away with $500,000. If you choose to see the question, right. you must answer. Oh. If you get it right, you win one million. If you get it wrong, you drop back down to $25,000. You want to see the subject? Better fix my hair. <laughs> because that is important when you're looking at a million dollar question. Gene, the subject of the million dollar question is this. Science. Do not hit this button yet, Gene. Shannon, what do you think he ought to do? You know, he, that line you said to him was the line I told him on our first date. That was the farthest a celebrity has ever gotten. <laughs> oh, 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 that's awesome. Shannon, I'm afraid your son is grossed out for life right here. <laughs> Nick, if you were giving your dad advice, as I have seen him give you advice many times, what would you tell him to do? Well, he always exceeds my expectations, so, uh, uh... What grade science is it? It's fifth grade. Oh, go for it. I, I, would, I would take it and run because uh, you want to give these kids something. And 500000 is huge, so you can always just... Give him 500000 out of your own pocket later. <laughs> Gene, sounds like a businessman. Oh, boy. He's saying drop out, but really, it's up to you. Well, if you go for it and you get it wrong, you are giving back $475,000. Oh. You know, in my life, I only gamble with myself. If I was here by myself, no fear, because there are no repercussions. But I know 
that $500,000 is going to do an enormous amount of good for some disadvantaged kids. I'm going to give that money proudly to Elizabeth Glazer, Pediatric AIDS. show you the million dollar question just for giggles. The subject was fifth grade science. The million dollar question is this. What element is represented by the letter K on the periodic table? Don't Crypt pick. Krypton. <laughs> Shannon. So glad you didn't listen to me, but I think it's, I think it's potassium. Yeah. Krypton. On the periodic the... table is actually KR. The letter K represents potassium. Yeah! Holy Shannon, this, see, this is the best of both worlds. Because from now on, you get to say, I knew the million dollar question, but if you had answered Krypton, you would have given back 475,000. Instead, you're walking out of here with charity. Every celebrity contestant we have had on this show has had to say a certain sentence before they left. Let's hear you say it. My name is Gene Simmons, and I'm a rock god. But today, I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. What an awesome night. You guys take care. We'll see you next time. a shot at the million. We've got some big winners in the classroom. She is an Emmy Award winning journalist. He is a three-time NBA champion. And that's before the game even starts. I don't like to brag about this. I was All-State Junior Mullet winner. Uh, Next time on <laughs> Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Multi-Grammy nominee En Vogue reunites on stage for Don't Forget the Lyrics now.